Welcome to Red 35 and today we are going to look at something that I meant to reveal almost a year ago. This is the Moments Anamorphic Lens. So first of all, I would like to use this opportunity to talk a little bit about this sense of why I think it's worthwhile a review. Um, well, okay, Moment is one of those forward-thinking company I absolutely adore since the beginning of the so-called smartphone filmmaking revolution. Because nowadays, there are a lot of pros out there using smartphone to do uh, photography and also filmmaking. And uh, I have reviewed some of their ultra wide angle, which is spectacular, the links up here. Um, but anamorphic is definitely, definitely very, very different indeed because trying to Google the word anamorphic, then you know why. Um, and at the time when they launched, trying to launch this via the Kickstarter, there were only one option on the market, which was the Moondog anamorphic lens. And it was quite dear and expensive. I wanted to get it, but I wasn't too sure in terms of the financial commitment to get that lens if I don't use it a lot. But Moment changed, changed it all because this is probably the most affordable anamorphic lens you can get on the market to date, even it's for iPhone or smartphone. So I've got this lens last year and uh, I was meant to review it straight away but you know I kind of have to blame myself for getting the latest iPhone XS Max at a time and the moment case for that phone is so thick and bulky it just would not fit any of my existing gimbal none of them would work but that's all changing now I got this Still say a big shout out to Manfrotto, he invented this little clam here, which is actually very, very cool. I'm gonna show you in a minute when I'm able to lock this thing. Right, look at this, you can fold flat, unscrew it, whoa, that looks cool. So you can see this is one of the reasons why I could not reveal this lens because just look at the size of this entire setup you know none of my mobile gimbals would work with this kind of weight and yeah simply the size but yeah it's okay I got it I got it now uh, yeah, let's start looking at the anamorphic lens build quality well it's a typical moment thing It's absolutely stunning because it's metal you know just very very nicely feel uh, it has that kind of almost like rubberized kind of coating onto the lens so yeah it doesn't feel too slippery it just kind of have that very premium feel and uh, yep yeah, just like any other moment lenses as well uh, there's no plastic anywhere you can find uh, is the the all the lens uh, lens elements are glass coated glass which is very very nice and the mount also metal so it's unlikely you're going to damage it unless you yeah kind of bang it hard on the surface or something like that but yeah this should be quite nice second image quality uh, well what can I say you know at this moment in time I cannot compare to any other anamorphic lenses out there on the market so this is the only anamorphic lens I have uh, but Judging from all the other uh, footages and also images that I've taken with this lens, I could easily say it's actually very, very good indeed. Um, sharpness is always there, just like any other moment lenses that they have so far. Um, that I can't, not, I cannot see any kind of edge softness and things like that. Not even vignetting. I can't even witness any vignetting. Um, but just like any anamorphic lenses you will actually experience a little bit of barrel distortions uh, it's just the way they design the lens and that's how you get this really kind of nicely horizontal flares and things like that so I wouldn't worry about distortion so much because if you're filming correctly and uh, yeah you shouldn't have a problem uh, you know with it in fact if you look at a lot of the movies out there using anamorphic lenses you can actually tell they are anamorphic lenses simply because by the kind of distortion that they have um, but other than that it's you know I, I just cannot complain about the anamorphic in terms of um, image quality 
Finally is the handling of the anamorphic lens. Uh, well, it's always quite difficult to to review a a smartphone lens for handling simply because it's such a tiny thing but I can say a little bit about it simply because this thing is a little bit heavy it's metal and glass as you can imagine so once you mount it to a slim case just like this one here you will find it a little bit front heavy and if you mount it on a gimbal yes you will find it exceptionally front heavy or yeah basically the weight is towards the front so your gimbal is always trying to tilt forward that is also the reasons why you know if you have a smaller gimbal it would not work unless you have counterweight mounted on it uh, so yeah just have to bear that in mind um, and if you're doing a lot of filming, just uh, you have you might actually need um, uh, accessories, just like this one at the moment. I'm fitting with the 62 millimeters uh, filter thread adapter kit for the anamorphic lens for a moment uh, so that will allow me to you know put a ND filter a variable ND filter in front of it so just to cut down the light a little bit um, so yeah if you want to mount all that in yeah this this is not like a normal thing you would hand hold you know you really want to have something beefier to just kind of stabilize it So here's my thought about the anamorphic lens. Uh, well, I, I like it because it's unique, it's different, you know? You, you simply cannot get anything else like this. I mean, un, uh, unless you spend like thousands and thousands of pounds get a proper anamorphic lens that will mount on your cinema cameras. You know, otherwise this is kind of like the, the most affordable way to get an anamorphic effect into your filmmaking. Uh, so I think it's pretty cool and uh, I'm definitely digging it. And as you can see, the setup is perfectly fine. And uh, yeah, once you have a big gimbal, it's, it's also nice and stable. Yeah, that's nice. But is it all singing or dancing though? Um, well, I can't say I have complaints or anything like that, but I, do, I would say um, at the moment, you know, uh, if you're using your smartphone, uh, in terms of moment wise, you simply can only use the back lenses. You cannot mount it to the front because there's no option whatsoever to mount the lens to the front camera. So if you want to, let's say, film yourself using an anamorphic lens, like a selfie in a selfie mode, it's, it's very, very tricky and difficult because you simply cannot do it. Um, there are some solutions out there that I've kind of been Googling around to see whether there, there are any sort of clips or anything that I can use to mount these things on. Uh, unfortunately, I've tried them all and none of them would work with the anamorphic lens. Uh, so it's a little bit of disappointment. Um, but apart from that, I'm, I'm, quite, I'm quite enjoying this then. And uh, yeah, I can get some really cool images from it. I mean like footage. Definitely very cinematic. Well, I hope you enjoyed these little videos about the anamorphic lens and like I said, I, it took me a while to get to this stage. Uh, lucky I, I finally managed to do a review and finally I can film this thing properly on a nice and smooth platform. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, by the way, I'm gonna review this later. So if you want to get more information, stay tuned for the review of this gimbal here uh, so that'd be cool um, so if you haven't subscribed to our channel please consider subscribing by clicking that button there and also yeah enable the bell thing so you know when our new video is coming out so until next time see you then jajian sayonara uh uh ofa. what else i don't know bye bye Okay. Yeah. yeah. Good. Okay. Right. One, two, one, two, one, two. Right. And moments being one of the forefronters. Forefronters? No. Um, yeah. Let's shall we <laughs> go a deep dive. <laughs> let's dig in into the uh, build quality. Do you see it? Yeah. Dig it. <laughs> yeah, man.